Well, both the crawlers are out. I brought the bulldozer home and today I'm going to go over and do a little bit more clearing on that field I started and got the trail over to and see how that goes. So let's get her fired up. All right, that thing has no problem firing up every time. All right, we'll let it warm up there for a few minutes and we'll get to it. All right, I've crawled over here a little ways. I'm just on my way back to that trail I just made across the end of the swamp there. I'm gonna knock out this cluster here of juniper bush and haw bush. Then I'm gonna knock over that great big overgrown thistle tree as well. And the uh, juniper's under there. I'll see if I can anyway, see if it's holding onto the rocks too hard, but let's give her a shot, see what the old 450 deer has. short work of that once I was able to get the corner of the blade under the root balls not a problem at all so I know I could probably spend a, a couple days trying to clear out this part but I'm sort of focused on the back part for now I just wanted to get those out of the way because we're weaving around them with the trucks and tractors and dozers and everything every time we come through here and they really don't do anything so anyways we got those out that's good let's move on okay well we're back here I came through the trail I made in the last video with the International 125 Let's see what we can shove out with the dozer. We've got a few stumps to shove out. One here, one in that little cluster over there, one over there, and whatever other ones we come across. And we'll shove out these juniper bushes and some of the brush as well. I'm just gonna shove it all back into the swamp for now. I can clean it up into a better pile later, do whatever we're gonna do with it. But for now, let's just focus on getting some of this cleared.
all right. Those stumps weren't any issue, neither was any of the rest of the brush, obviously. So I got that all cleared out. I could spend more time trying to flatten it and everything, but I'm not worried about that right now. I'd like to just first step, maybe try to get some of this stuff cleared out. So we're going to go to the other side there because I didn't really want to tackle those big trees right now. Um, they may end up coming out eventually anyways, but for now we're just going to stick to the smaller stuff, the brush and the stumps and things, and get the other side cleared out. So let's do that. So I got that brush shoved out of there. I got some of the bigger holes shoved in, but like I said, I'm not worried about trying to make it too flat just yet at this stage. I'm just trying to open it all back up. So I was gonna try to leave some of these trees, but I don't think it's worth it. And then definitely when I started looking at them, it wasn't worth it. That one there, all the ash is all dying around here. Um, that one there is right full of holes and it's dead. That one there has got a huge hole at the bottom of it. That's all I can show you. So yeah, this one here, got this it's pretty well gonna break off at the bottom there anyways it's all rotted pretty well right through uh this one like i said it's all right full of holes all burrowed and dead so that one's dead anyway and then that big one the top and stuff's all dead on it but i'll leave it for now unless i get a closer look at it and it's going to come down soon anyways and then i might just shove all this crap out of here because it's not really doing anything not going to accomplish anything and we're trying to take this field back eventually so it starts with clearing it and yeah i'm going to clear some of the brush on this side now i'll go through with the dozer and shove down all that undergrowth crap just back to where the forest starts so yeah let's do that
All right, well, I got all that brush knocked down in there. It's a lot easier to see through there and actually get through there and stuff now. I'm gonna see how the bulldozer does trying to knock over these trees here. We'll see if I can get up high enough to get a good leverage on it and shove it over. Maybe I'll have to uh, dig around the stump a little bit, but we'll see how that goes. We'll try the big one first, then we'll try the smaller one, but yeah. Well, the old girl did pretty good. Got those trees knocked down with minimal effort. If I shove them over there, I'll cut them up later for firewood. But the dozer seems to be having an issue. It's having a hard time going in reverse. So not getting into reverse, but when it's in reverse, it's not really taking off that quick and it seems to be slowing down. So I think I'm gonna leave it there for now. Let it cool down for the night and we'll see if it wants to move in the morning. If not, then we're gonna have to dig into that and see what's going on with it. But anyways, yeah. All right, well, the old girl did well this afternoon. So I'm sure if I messed around with it, it would get me home, but I'm hoping that it'll cool down and start to work and then we'll figure out what the issue is. But anyway, I got a bit of a walk ahead of me. So I'm gonna get on to that and we'll look at that another time. All right, it's a couple days later. It's an absolutely beautiful day, barely monsooning at all. I went to start the Bronco to go over to the bulldozer and had a bad connection, so I put one of these cheap battery cable ends back on it, and we should be back in business. So let's go over to the bulldozer where I got a filter for it for the tranny fluid. So we're going to put that on and hope that's our issue. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Victor's going to be coming to give me a hand here soon because he loves working in the rain too. So we're going to take the Bronco, hope it gets back there. Or worst case, it'll get us close, we'll get stuck, and we'll pull it out. But anyways, let's give that a shot. All right, let's see if that was the issue for the old girl. First we give a little shot, then we roll it over and hope for the best. Nope. Right, good old Victor showed up, I'm going to turn the key and we'll see what it is. Let's get him to hold the camera and you can see what he sees. Oh, you changed the connection but you changed the wrong one. Try it now. It wouldn't go onto it. This one was smoking. Oh, they both need to be changed. Because well, that it one was, it was also loose. <laughs> that one originally had some smoke coming from it. But that one's relatively new. We should be able to tighten that one, though, eh? Even if we take it off and flip that so it's squeezing the wire more, maybe there's some corrosion in there. 
But the other one was broken. I couldn't tighten it anymore. Somebody flipped it onto its roof already. I see that. Actually, so yeah, okay. Well, let's mess around with that for a second. All right, look at that. We found a whole new end that I got. I literally just got this at an auction I went to yesterday with a bunch of box of random stuff, so that worked out. So we'll get that on there and we should be back in business. Okay, wire's on there, let's try this again. Push on fuel. Fire up. Oh, lovely. Got that high idle. Choke running, let's turn that off. Beauty. All right. The rain's actually picking up again, so we might let it die down here before we go out into the field, but we'll head there in a minute. it yet but desperate times I suppose we made it got across there got to the dozer and that is why i brought the bronco because it is the most capable off-road truck i have so thank god we brought it or we'd still be sitting over there walking through the rain looking for a tractor now instead we're out in the middle of the woods in the rain working on an old tractor i guess you could call it so anyways let's get that filter changed and hope that fixes our issue all right there's the filter right there nice and easily located just had to pull a bolt out of the grill so it is, of course, nicely installed. So when you take it off, the uh, all the oil runs out of the filter all over the place. So that'll be fantastic. But anyways, let's uh, let's get that changed. All right, new filters installed. We didn't actually make a mess because Victor was nice and quick about it. Just took it off, pulled it off, and didn't spill barely anything. So we're gonna put this on, and we're gonna start to pray <laughs> that, that this is the uh, that this was the problem. Otherwise, if it's not this, it's most likely the pump, which is in the transmission and. Well, we don't want to talk about that. So anyways, let's see how it, uh, how it works now. All right, Victor's going to see if she wants to go back up now. Oh, well, that's a good sign. All right. Maybe what we'll do is work it for a few minutes here and see what we think. I asked Victor if he wanted to try knocking down a tree with it. 
make sure it's working. For some reason, he doesn't like to idle her up all the way until he has to. <laughs> Woo! That one is holding on. Come around it, push it from the other way so you're not going in that hole. <laughs> I guess he was thinking the same thing. Probably gave him the obvious solution. Just trying not to bury himself in these branches. See, that tree I assumed would be the easiest to knock over. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> Victor's just getting his bearings about on the dozer here. Seems to be working good and strong now. So I'm going to assume that that filter was our issue.
Victor did a fine job clearing up that little spot. That's good. Those are working good again. All right, so it's raining pretty good here, so we're gonna try to get the Bronco back out of here with all our tools. Uh, I guess we'll walk the dozer out too. Um, so there's one of two choices. Either I can try to go back the way I came, which is pretty muddy because it's, well, it's the end of the swamp and we've got a lot of rain today and last night. Or I can go the long way. There's another trail that comes in there and sort of wraps around to the other corner of the property and then I could come back. But I may still potentially get stuck over there and then at that point I'm further from the tractors and things that can pull us out. Um, the only issue with the Bronco is there's nothing to hook onto on the front to give it a pull when it gets stuck. Um, which we've been meaning to remedy. We have hooks to put on it. We just haven't done it yet. So we're just going to wait till we get good and stuck with it sometime. And then we're going to try to figure that out. But anyways, all right, let's try to get out of here. Okay, I've chosen to take the longer, further from home route. Because, well, it wasn't just freshly bulldozed. So there's still lots of grass and stuff growing here in the mud. Worst part about it is the low hanging trees and stuff here. Just don't want to be damaging the old Bronco if I can help it. But it should be a slow crawl. Hopefully I don't get stuck. Otherwise there's not a chain on the bulldozer anyways, which we just thought about. And we don't really want to be pushing on it with the bulldozer. So let's, uh, let's weasel our way through here.
with it. There's nothing wrong with it now. Working good. But as you can see, I don't know if you can see on the phone, but it is raining quite heavily. So I think we're going to call it a day. All right. All right. I think I'm going to end this video here because it's getting quite long. Um, I will do another video of continuing to clear that field there, whether it be with the bulldozer or one of the other machines, because I might have to send this out to a job here soon. But anyways, thanks for watching.